Hey guys, today we gonna talk about Docker. So, first of all, let discuss why do we need it? Well, first of all, a company have different teams like developing, security, testing, server deployment team etc and each team have different responsibilities and so, it's not necessary to have the same configuration on every computer. Like some members on the testing team have a Linux operating system and some member on the developing side have Windows operating system. So sometimes, due to operating system and some other differences like libraries dependencies, versions have some significant effect on output. The developer says that it's working absolutely fine on my computer but the testing and security team say that the code doesn't work on their computer. To solve this problem, we need Docker. It's basically software that wraps up the code, versions, dependencies and creates a container of that code to share with others. That container has everything like versions, libraries, frameworks, network information, operating system info etc. Now, let's talk about the advantages of Docker. Number 1 is portability. Code will run on your machine and their machine too. Number 2 is it's a sandbox. It is a security remedy to have each container have its own process and eliminate the security risk. Number 3 is it's work easily everywhere. Number 4 is it's lightweight and pretty fast. Now, let's talk about how it's different from hypervisors. In hypervisor we have the hardware, then virtual machine and then operating system like Ubuntu, Debian etc and Docker. As similar to the hypervisor, we have hardware then the operating system, then the Docker engine and then the container. The difference is that in hypervisor we waste the RAM, memory etc while creating the virtual operating system. Meanwhile, in Docker, we just have run the command and got the OS and faster than the hypervisor. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video.